Hi, Robin Miles here from Inspire Me. So today I'm talking about getting clarity and getting a grip of this year. Okay. So the key thing with this is clarity. Clarity leads to confidence. It leads to purpose. It can then lead to conviction and then it leads to results. So if you're looking at the year ahead, and thinking in your career, like, how do I make this career transition? How do I make these transitions? These are the like the first two key steps. The first thing is, is that your career needs to fit in with the life that you want. Your life should not be an outcome of however good your career is going in your life. Okay. So the first thing to do is to actually get a grip of and get clarity on, I call the top seven areas of your life. And these are the top seven. The first one is your career. The next one is your family. The third one is your personal relationship. The next one is your fitness and your health. The fifth one is about your social connectedness with your friends, etc. The sixth one is wealth, is cash. And then the final one is self. What is it that you just do for yourself? Now, with those seven areas of career, family, relationship, health and fitness, social wealth and self, all you need to do is just list those seven down and write down for yourself, where am I at? What does each of those areas of my life look like around now? What's the status? What is it that I want them to be like at the end of this year? Therefore, next column, what is it that I need to do about it? What are some of the actions and the next steps that I need to take? That will make sure that whatever you do with your career or your any other area of your life, it's balanced with every single area because a lot of people really focus on one area of their life and then it impacts one of the others. Or one of the areas of life, such as career, is so um, toxic or rotten or you're bogged down with it that it's negatively impacting all the others. So first of all, do what's in your control by getting the grip of every single area of your life right from the get-go, okay? So that's number one. Number two is making a career transition what is the first step? What is the key to that? And it's clarity. You need to get crystal clear clarity on what you actually want. Now, the next page that you're going to do is just getting out and, and listing out what are my requirements for my career? What is the remuneration? What role titles excite me? What are the kinds of the companies that I want to be working for? What is my purpose in work? What are the working hours that I want to be uh, doing? Do I want things like travel or do I not want travel uh, included? What are the must-haves? What do you love about your career? What do you hate about your career? What are you definitely not, for instance? What are the organizations and the industries that you're not interested in? Um, and just list that all out and declare it as a project to get that clarity on it. And you might need to do a bit of work kind of on that. But out of doing that journaling, you can then list out, like right out of all of that work that I've done, and maybe this is the third thing. What are my top 10 requirements for my next role? Because some people say, um, well, I want to do a job that's fulfilling the line with my purpose, but then that won't pay money. Well, if you say it won't, then it won't. But if you say that it will, then it will. And then you could actually start to look for those organizations and those roles that will actually fulfill those kind of requirements. So that then that becomes a test for any job that you go for or any transition that you're going for in your career it needs to tick those top 10 requirements for yourself. If not, you don't spend time going for that job because too many people, they want to do a transition. They do it out of fight or flight. They apply for lots of roles. They don't get them. And it's kind of a good thing because probably that role wasn't the right one for them in the first place. But then what that happens is that that negatively impacts their confidence. And then they really start questioning themselves where all you need to do is need to be proactive on getting clarity on those seven areas of your life, right? How does career fit within that? What are all my requirements? Journal on all those questions that I've given you about your career to then consolidate into that. What are my top 10 non-negotiable requirements? And then go and talk to recruiters, go and talk to people, you know, align with those 10. You know, I am a executive in sales and marketing, and this is the kind of the role that I'm looking for. Boom, 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 boom. Recruiters love that clarity. You know, even purchasers love that clarity because it's like, okay, cool. Is that what I want or not I want, you know? So they're my tips for getting clarity on this year. If you've got any questions or queries, put them in the uh, in the comments below and I'll get back to you. 
And I hope this kind of sparks that interest to declare yourself a project for this year to get out of it what you want. See you next time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Feel free to share with friends and check out what's up next for more videos from my channel.